What's going on guys? It's your man Ed here back for another one and in this one man, I kind of just wanted to make an update video and kind of let y'all know what's going on in my personal business How we've been out here rocking and rolling what the team looks like what the business looks like and just kind of paint a picture for you all So y'all kind of know what these businesses look like how they operate how they run So let's not waste any time. Let's get right on into it. Hey coming down like precipitation I ain't never met all right, so first off, guys, man, we have been adding some good staff members recently. We've been building up the team. So right now we've got, um, we just recently added a comper, uh, somebody that literally basically just does comps for us. Um, he does some other tasks as well, but that was like the main thing that we brought him on for. We're paying $10 per comp that he does. Shout out to Mike. Uh, uh, for hooking up those comps. We also recently just brought on a team of offer makers. Okay, so we've got like some, some new roles uh, coming in here. And then I also wanna be, uh, I wanna hire on a few more positions as well. Um, so now basically, so we've got like an acquisition team, which consists of um, two virtual assistants and one like lead manager, if you will. Um, and my guy Najee. So, so that's, you know, it's three people on the acquisition team. And then we've got um, me on Dispo. I'm kind of like the main Dispo guy. As y'all know, we leverage Investor Lift. So if y'all want to check out Investor Lift for yourself, definitely check it out with the link down below. Use code Wholesale Coach VIP to get 10% off. Uh, but this video isn't about Investor Lift. Uh, anyway, so, um, you know, I'm kind of like the Dispo guy, my, uh, my guy Mike who's the comper also helps on Dispo. So in terms of Dispo, um, not only are we like sending out notifications inside of InvestorLift, we're also emailing people personally and texting and doing some calling um, out to people as well. So it's like a, a full uh, process of actually reaching out to people. We don't wanna just rely on InvestorLift or any other service for that matter to try to get our deals sold or to get our deals in in the first place or whatever. We don't like to just rely on one method, so we use several. Um, also, some, some more updates. So um, in terms of the compers, I mean, I'm sorry, the offer makers. So I'm paying the offer makers $50 per property that they make offers on. And you may be asked, okay, well then what's an official offer? We are considering an official offer to be an offer um, that they've actually sent out in writing. So they're actually sending out contracts for us on behalf of us um, and actually getting that process started. So they're gonna get $50 per um, offer, but then they're also gonna get 15% on the back end. So that's what we agreed upon with our offer making team. And these are some really, really good offer makers. Like these are some of Pace Morby students. So, you know, and they're, they're already doing their own deals. They have their own organization and things of that nature. And they're rocking and rolling out here. So typically in general, guys, what you want to do is bring, you want to hire people that already have stuff going on. The last person in the world that you'll want to hire to do an important role is someone that doesn't have anything going on already. So kind of always keep that in mind. Try to not hire unemployed people. You want people that already have a lot of stuff going on. They're typically gonna be the best candidates to hire them on to do more work for you. Okay, so um, anyway, so we're working on a couple different deals right now. We've got um, a deal out in Griffin, Georgia, a piece of land out there. Um, that's a JV deal that we're working on as well as um, another deal out in College Park. That's a fixer upper. And that's also um, a JV deal that we're working on right now. Um, I'm glad that we hired these new offer makers um, because now like basically we had like such a huge backlog of literally like 44 leads, I want to say, that all needed offers. Like between our REI reply campaigns and our cold, uh, cold calling campaigns inside of call tools, we just had an incredible amount of leads coming in. Basically every day we're getting about two, three, sometimes four leads per day. And so, you know, it starts to get overwhelming at some point and we were just really, really backed up on actually being able to get out these offers. So now that we've got the offer making team, 
um, locked in, um, we're actually literally going to be sending offers like this week. Like we're sending out offers, we're making things happen. So, so it's it's pretty exciting. Things are starting to ramp up. Um, those two deals that I mentioned, they are at the title company already. Um, title work is open. The process is moving forward. On the College Park deal, we're actually going to be double closing on that deal, and we're going to be using some transactional funding from a company called doubleclose.com. So definitely check them out. I was actually referred to them by my guy Terrell. So salute to Terrell, shout out to you, my brother, for, for hooking it up with the uh, with the knowledge. Maybe a little blurry, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway though, but yeah, we're gonna be double closing that deal. That's looking at like a 23K spread on that deal, around about 23K. And then on the Griffin, Georgia deal, that's about a 17,000 uh, spread. And they are JV deals, so we will be splitting those profits um, with our wholesaler partners on that one. On those, I should say. Long story short, though, guys, it's been super, super busy, man. We've been rocking and rolling, getting things done. Um, salute to everybody that has been sending us deals. You know, we are uh, JVing with wholesalers nationwide. If you're trying to JV with us, trying to get that deal so quickly and, you know, in days, not weeks or months or something like that, um, definitely shoot your deal to deals at dealflowtoday.com. We'll be more than glad to assist you. We'll help you get that deal out. You can also go ahead and submit the form. I'm going to have a link for it down below. You can submit the form to actually submit your JV lead down below. It's bit.ly slash JV with us. Okay, so should be pretty simple and easy to remember that. Definitely shoot us your deals. You can submit the form. We'll put the property into a review space basically our review team will go over it if it meets our qualifications and so we'll go ahead and shoot it out to our buyer list we've got access to over 4.3 million buyers nationwide so let's definitely break some bread together guys part of this recent um like updates in our staff really came from a book that i'm reading right now it's called who not how right and it really really got me thinking about like okay instead of me asking myself like how can I do X, Y, and Z? And I started to ask myself the question, who can do this for us? Who can get this job done? Who's the best person we can put in this seat to get the work done versus me trying to do everything or trying to figure out everything. That kind of leads you down that path of like YouTube videos and then you got to learn and then you got to implement and then you're going to be implementing that in perpetuity basically. What I instead started doing is asking myself, okay, well, who can do this for me? Then that leads me down the path of actually looking for that expert, looking for that time saver realistically. Like anyway, though, but that's what I recommend that you all think about as well. I start asking yourself, who can help me get this stuff done? Start asking yourself, how can I do everything? You don't need to do every single thing in your business to get stuff done. In fact, when you start to bring other people on, you tend to get better results because you're not trying to do everything. You're not forcing everything. There's a lot of steps in the process of actually closing these wholesale deals. You have to understand that. And don't get me wrong, like if you're if you're balling on a budget right now and you can't afford staff, that's perfectly fine. But if you do have a budget and let's say, for instance, you have a problem and you have a budget, you don't really have a problem. You just got to get out there and put that budget to use, actually hire on the staff and get these problems taken care of quickly. So once again, here's what our actual staff looks like now. We've got on the front end, we've got um, an acquisition manager, which is my guy, Najee. Then we've also got, um, he's got two virtual assistants that make the phone calls and reply back to the text messages then we also have um, like a lead manager that basically manages the virtual assistants and anything else that we may need them to actually get done um, and then we've got our comper you know i could have been doing these comps but i was like you know what let's put mike in position to knock these comps out for us right so we got our comper he, he does all of the comping on the properties at that point. That lead is pushed over to Najee. He's going to go ahead and start making those offers. That's how we had it set up before. However, there were just so many offers coming in. We had to switch up that process. So now we've got the offer making team and basically the offer maker team. They've got um, so it's two partners and then they've got I want to say somewhere between like two to four different virtual assistants who are actually calling these sellers back and actually making offers on these properties. So once we get the comps done, the comps are basically going <clears> to, <throat> the way that Mike does the comps, 
He sets up the comps in a way that basically says, this is what we should be paying for this property, basically. So it gives us a really good roundabout of what our offer should be. Then we have the offer makers. They come in, they actually make the phone calls, and then they shoot it over to Dispo, which is me. At that point, I'll be popping that property onto InvestorLift, and then we'll also pull a, a list from God Mode on InvestorLift. We'll start calling the God Mode list, and we'll we'll send out the email notifications on InvestorLift as well. And once the tech thing is actually set up we'll start sending out text message notifications as well and then at that point as we start to get offers in i'm communicating and, and going back and forth with buyers and title companies and our wholesale partners that we're working with right now and you know basically um we get the deal wrapped up we go here we shoot over uh you know all of the docs the title and then we just sit back and wait to get paid. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of what um, the actual staff looks like right at this moment. And just kind of wanted to give you all an update, you know, on the business, what's going on, what does it look like? Are we still rocking and rolling? Um, you know, if you're questioning or if you're asking yourself, like, is now still a good time to wholesale? It absolutely is. Don't count yourself short. Don't count yourself out. But I do highly recommend that, um, one, that you hire staff actually have people out here to help you or whatever don't try to do everything yourself if you can hire staff hire staff two uh once you do hire staff you really really need to monitor and manage them and make sure that they're actually getting the job done um, i guess three would be don't just come with these low ball wholesale offers in 2023 if that's all you've got to offer eh, i'm trying to say you may want to look somewhere else because you're just not going to have as many opportunities as us that you know as as the people that are offering several different options and maybe you're an agent you can uh, offer to list it or you know an agent that can list it for them. maybe you could partner up with them on the deal and you do the rehab and y'all split the money on the back end maybe you offer like a subject to deal or a lease option or something like that there's a lot of different solutions that you can give to these sellers but you have to actually offer those solutions you don't want to just look like that guy that's only offering the low ball wholesale offer they're not going to think that you have their best interest in mind in 2023 anyway though guys i hope that y'all staying healthy and blessed as always man i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all get up out of here until next time guys we are hoops.